Hello everyone, welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Narlo here. Say hello, Narlo. Good boy. You'll notice he's got a bit of a grin on his face today. That's because Yule Fest has started this week, and that is one of Narlo's absolute favorite holidays. Before we get started, you'll notice I've made my way from Combe and the Breelands back over here to Michael Delving. And I'm going to check. I've got a letter here, which I'm thinking will probably start the Yule. There we go. Subject, Yule Tidings. So let's take a look at it, shall we? Happy Yule. In case you haven't heard, the mayor of Winterholm wishes to make a name for himself as the greatest Yule Festival host that ever lived. This winter looks like it's turning out to be a lively one, and there's certainly plenty to do. I hope to meet you in Winterholm. Cheers, Albert Yule, Winterholm Town Crier. So we've got a letter, invitation to the Yule. We will detach that. And let's take a look at the letter, shall we? Is it this one? Yes, invitation to the Yule Fest. Dear Narlo, you are cordially invited to join our Yule festivity celebration in Winter Home. We have many events to suit your taste, whether you like eating contests, snowball fights, the theater, or simply helping folks around town. This notice is meant to introduce you to what the festival has to offer, especially our new celebration event. We hope to see you in here soon before we get snowed in. Albert Yule, the town crier. So, we need to talk to one of the festival stable masters. There should be one right over here in Michael Delving, and we'll get a Frost Bluff coin. And these are exchange for Yule tokens. So why don't we go see if we can find the new Yule Festival Stable Master. I'm going to assume he's over here close to the old Stable Master. If I remember right from last year, he should be parked basically right next door. He will enable us to go, yes, there he is. He will enable us to make our way to Winter Home. The town which is kind of like, oh, what's the name I'm trying to name? Brigadoon, kind of like Brigadoon. It only appears, <laughs> you're only able to get to it once a year, apparently. The rest of the time, it seems to be snowed in. However, it's kind of, uh, it must be in the southern hemisphere because it only seems to be accessible during December and the rest of the year when we're having summer it's snowed in. So let's talk to the stable master. Would you like to visit the Yule Festival celebration in the town of Winterholm? I hear there's more food than even a gaggle of hungry tweens can manage. So we will. How do you do? Are you looking to go to Frostbuff, Narlo? I'm ready to take you there. I hear there's a fine festival going on. Hopefully the roads haven't been snowed out. There we go. And he should be able to take us do do? to Fro to Winter Home. And it is a free swift travel from any of the four home locations. So let us go to Winter Home. And it's actually going to take us out this way for once. And there we go. We've completed our ride. And we are up in the mountains here. I imagine this must be somewhere up in the high arid Luin. Or can't possibly think it would be in the Misties. But here we are at the town of Winterhome, and they've all got it all decorated and ready for the festivities. Let's take a map and see just where we are. There's Winterhome and Frost Bluff. And see, last year I did not explore around too much. Let's see. And it doesn't let you know where it is. Usually you can right click and it'll zoom out, but as you see, it just takes you right back here. So this is a. Uh, Undisclosed location. I wonder if the festival announcer and stable amount master has anything to say. That would take you back to any of the uh, four starting location travels. So there we go. 
Guard Kimber. Okay. We're just gonna run around the town right quick. I can see fireworks going off in the distance. Run around the town, show you what places look like. You got the town crier here. Another announcer. Looks like Looks like a uh, table's loaded down with food. It is quite cold here. I'm gonna have to definitely put on my winter outfit. Lots of decorations about. Some guy apparently hauling a keg of ale around behind him. That's going to be interesting to find out about. More announcers, more tables loaded down with food. A tree that's been all nice and decorated. Oh, pretty. More fireworks going off. Apparently they like their fireworks in this town. Lots and lots of looks like snow snow sculptures of perhaps swans. The swan snowmen. Yeah, it looks like there's the mayor's wife and the mayor. Looks like it's going to be interesting to uh, wander around, find all the various all the various uh, festival quests and everything here in town. Then as you go, as you see, there are more places to discover. There's, I know over here there is like a snowman, snowball battlefield. Um, it looks like a mushroom tent of some sort over here. We've got a cabin, a possible fort or a town perhaps. So we've got a lot of exploring to do here and that's going to be fun. So we'll get back to it just as soon as I go get myself a cup of coffee and turn my space heater on because one thing I've always noticed every single one of these games from all the way back whenever I used to play in permafrost the permafrost zone back in EverQuest as soon as I get into a snow zone and it's snow coming down and it's cold I actually start getting chilly so let me go get a cup of coffee and I will be back as you see dynamic layers that means there are so many people in the frost the uh, Winter home frost bluff zone right now. That uh, they're having to make multiple instances of it in order to get everybody in here. And I will see y'all again very shortly. Alrighty, everyone, we're back. We have a cup of coffee. We warmed up, and we're sitting here outside the festival grounds again. I went to back to Michael Delving, put on my winter outfit at the bank there. It's a cosmetic outfit, doesn't change what I'm actually wearing, but uh, put my winter outfit on. Just could not bring myself to wear the boots, however. I am a real hobbit, and I just can't bear to see anything on those sexy bare feet down there. So we're going to enter the town of, of uh, Winter Home here once again, and come over here and talk to the town crier. And let's see what they have to tell us. Come here for your source of all things festival in Winter Home. I am glad to give you any information you seek. Let's complete the Yule celebration. Good day to you, my good hobbit. And how do you do? I see you have heard about our little celebration here in Winter Home. I think you will find that a great deal of effort's gone into this splendid endeavor. You should explore and enjoy the sights, for there are many. You should begin by speaking to the mayor. The festival is here thanks to his efforts, and he wishes to greet all of his guests personally. So we're going to speak with the mayor about the festivities, and we'll get two Yule Festival tokens. And just like the Harvest Festival tokens, the Yule tokens are what we will use to trade in at the various vendors to get things like this lovely ensemble that I'm wearing here. I believe I picked this up here last time. may have been the time before that. But there you are. And as we said, right down here is the mayor, Winston Goodenough. Or Goodenough. 
the mayor, and there's his wife, Carolyn. Let's see what the mayor has Greetings, to say. Friend. Hail, traveling burglar, welcome, welcome, and pray tell all your friends to come visit as well. We have spared no expense for this Yule's festival. I am Winston Goodenough, the mayor of this town. Please stay as long as you like. Try everything, taste everything. Why don't you go take a look at all the events? Come back and see me when you have explored. So let's go speak to the mayor's wife. For some reason, uh, being told to go and explore and sent to the mayor's wife is a uh, interesting uh, combination of choice of, of choices of words there. Hello there. I didn't think this was that kind of game. Greetings, greetings. You're most welcome here to be sure. I am Carolyn Goodenough, and my husband and I am very thrilled to have so many interested patrons and patronesses here at our Yule celebration this year. I'll not take up any more of your time. Surely you'll want to see the games we have to offer. It's a bit of a walk, but you should go talk to Cecil Voller, the host of the Snowball Fight. Cecil is a ways north of the town, but I'd like for you to know where the Snowball Field is, should you want to use it. Alright, so let's go talk to Cecil at the Snowball Field. And that will get us up and out of town. And we can add that part to our map. Let's see, hopefully there'll be an exit right over here. There is, okay. Ah, as you see, lots and lots of snowmen here. People that seem to perhaps be either making them or wandering around lost in them. Ah, there we go, making them. A lot of cute snowmen. It's one thing I'd don't like about living in Georgia. We don't get to make snowman. Virgil's broken snowman. Of course I'll trade it to not have to slog through the snow and ice all the time as well. Virgil's minnen wearing. Scarf wearing. That must be Virgil. His classy snowman. Virgil must be um, and cap wearing. He must be the snowman artist supreme here in town. Let's continue on down the hill. Looks like right down here, perhaps, is where the snowman battlefield is. And that over there must be Cecil. Yes, it is. There's the snowball field. Let's take a peek inside. Looks like a few people running around. Said I did not participate in this last year. It looks very interesting. Let's see what Cecil has to say. One minute until the battle begins. Greetings, friend. Ah, uh, hello. I see you've trekked down to the snowball field during your tour of town. This is where folks come to throw freezing missiles at one another. I hope you'll come back when you finish your tour. The mayor is most particular about all patrons seeing all there is to see before they get distracted. Speak with someone from Winterholm to continue your tour. Alright, so it looks like it's too late to join in the uh, snowball fight this time around. But we'll go back to Winter Home and continue our tour of the area. Okay, as you see there's another place right up here that's on our map. And I suppose that over yonder with the tower is this area over here. So, I'm sure we'll get sent at some point to those two areas, and if not, we will go and explore them on our own. Let's head back up to Winter Home and talk to someone in the town so we can continue our tour. We'll just take the road this time just to see if there's anything along it of note. does not appear to be and it just leads us past the snowball field the snowman field back into the back side of town well, we should be able to find someone pretty quickly here to talk to and continue on on the tour mm, it won't be the watcher though 
be the announcer. I see a ring on the map here, so it looks like that is the person from Winterhome we're supposed to go talk to. Mabel Mitford. What does Mabel have to say? How can These I people be really need a little warmer clothing. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry, I'm only a servant. The mayor surely doesn't need you to talk to me. If you're wanting directions on where to go next, perhaps you should speak with Guard Kimber, the town watchman. I'm frightfully sorry I couldn't be of any more help to you. I'll be getting out of your way. Well, she's got some um, self-esteem issues, I do believe. Mabel Mitford has directed you to someone with more information. Looks like the guard is down south, is up north of us. Yeah, he was the one walking back and forth here. Y'all need to buy your, your maid's better clothing, thank you. Let's see here. Guard Kimber, the watchman. You look pretty pale and blue yourself. Tell me what you need or move along. Uh, he's a cheerful man, full of the Yuletide spirit. Hello there, new to Frost Bluff, are you? Well, you've come at the finest time of year. I just hope you behave yourself or else you'll be hearing from me. I'm sure you'll have a wonderful time, though. The mayor employs me to see to it that everyone keeps the peace so that you patrons can have the best possible experience during Yule. The next person you want to speak to is the Globe Hobbit, who can tell you all about the theater. <laughs> I'd forgotten the theater here was named the Globe. So let's go to the theater and talk to the Hobbit announcer there. We're definitely getting a tour of everything you can do here in town, that's for sure. Let's see. Should be around the corner and down to the right. Here we go, there's the Globe Hobbit. Can't remember what Globe stands for there. The Yule Celebration of Winter How Home. Do you do? Oh, hello. Are you interested in the theater? We have quite a show that we're putting on this Yule, and we've traveled all the way from the Shire. Make sure you come back and see the show when you finish with your tour of town. I know you won't be disappointed. I believe the next thing you should do, go see is the eating contest. I can't wait to try the eating contest. Personally, I'm terribly hungry all right now. All this talking. So, we're visit Ona K, the eating contest announcer. While we're here, let's ask about Globe. What is Globe? Good day. The Globe is the Green Lily Orators, Bards, and Entertainers. Mr. Shakespeare put together an acting company to amuse his customers, and people liked it so much he's taken it on the road. I see. All right, we'll ask of the rest next time. Let's go see the important stuff. The person in charge of the eating contest, which I believe we passed on our way here. I do like with the cosmetic outfits and all going on that you don't see two people dressed the same anymore, ever in this game. Unless they're wearing, you know, wearing and showing nothing but their epic gear, you really don't see them. The Yule Celebration of Winter Home. Hello there. And there's so many cosmetic costumes to choose from and all that are passed out during all these celebrations, all the the outfits that tailors can make and you can buy from vendors. There's really no reason why you have to look like everybody else. Good day to you. I'm Ona, the announcer for the first station at the eating contest. There are many more stations, of course, and I hope you'll be able to visit all of them before you get too full. What is a festival without wonderfully excessive amounts of food? I doubt you will find a bigger feast anywhere in Middle Earth than here in Winterhome. Well, I'm the last to stop on your tour. You should return to the mayor. Do come back and try the vittles. Explore the other corner for Winterhome, for it looks interesting. Your tour is finished, but there's more of the town to be seen ahead. Hmm. I'm assuming they mean over here. Indeedly. And we have Gareth Rush. Standing here amongst a bunch of people that seem to be hard at work. How can I be of service? 
What do you want, O oh reverend patron? Have you come to show off your silver and gold in your fat belly? Well, I do have a fat belly, but I don't know about all the silver and gold here, buddy. Well, show away. We earn your meager bread while you stuff your faces and play in the snow. You are not welcome in winter home, not to all of its residents. We slave so the mayor can be rich and so that he can throw marvelous parties for you all. Be gone. We are not welcome among you, and you are not welcome among us. Speak with the man near Gareth, for he seems to have something to say. The workers here seem bitter cold, and their faces show signs of hunger. Let's talk to Mr. Daly Uttridge. What can I do for you? Please, pardon my friend. It is a hard winter, and there's less money and bread to go around than usual. But there's no cause to be uncivil to the guests of this town. Life can be cruel here, as you can plainly see, but I count myself among the lucky. Those who cannot work go even colder and hungrier than we. I'm sure you are more welcome among us than Gareth implied. We are a friendly folk. You are welcome to visit any time you wish. I hope you enjoy our time in our little town. So, so we see. You should return to the mayor, for you have now seen more winter home than intended. As you see, not everything is all rosy cheeks and snowballs in winter home. Though I'm sure that the guy that I talked to first there would be quite happy to throw me a snowball with a rock in it. Let's go back and talk to the mayor again. See what he has to say. So, you've seen all the events. We have a wonderful little town, do we not? Perfectly suited for all your festival needs. You don't need to waste any more time talking to me. Go, enjoy, eat, play, watch theater. We get our 90 copper and our two festival tokens. Alrighty. So from here on, we're pretty much on our own. We've got a bunch of rings that popped up on the map to talk to people. And next time we come back, we will continue exploring and see what the various festivities are like. And most certainly, we're going to go and enjoy that eating contest. So I hope you all have enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. And I hope you'll have a good day.